friends welcome back to unveil the side today we'll see how to make um, chutney pudi or chutney powder uh, which is traditionally made in the homes of karnataka south india so first this i'm going to use chana dal urad dal chana dal about 1 cup and uh, urad dal 3/4 of that and uh, desiccated coconut you will you can use 1 to 1 and a half cups here i'm just using 1 cup that's sufficient and curry leaves and red chilli you can use a mix of both the uh, bad ghee as well as uh, guttur i'm just using one type here um according to your spice levels you can have that you will need salt asafoetida and tamarind tamarind you can to see um how much tangy you want your chutney puri to be and optionally you can also add in a bit of jaggery so firstly what i'm going to do is uh, after heating a pan i'm just going to dry roast the channa dal this is uh, going to be done on a medium flame uh, and it takes a, uh, quite some time to roast the dals perfectly so you need to have a little, a little patience here make sure the channa dal turns uh, red in color and there is an aroma of the dal in the uh, room so that's when you know that the dal is done transfer the chana dal onto a separate plate and then start roasting the urad dal in the same way it would take about uh, another 2 to 3 minutes uh, since the pan is now completely hot uh, ensure you are com- continuously stirring the dal and once this is done transfer it to the plate again next you need to toast the desiccated coconut as well uh, here i'm using One cup of desiccated coconut. I use the store bought one, but you can also get the round gola. You can grate it in the house as well. So, as you can see, once it starts changing its color, that's when you know that it's uh, toasted well. And you can take it out into the plate and uh, allow it to cool along with the dals. Next, we'll roast the red chilies and curry leaves uh, to remove any extra moisture in them, so so that the sh- shelf life of uh, chutney powder increases this would take about 2 uh, minutes ensure it's uh, crisp and then you can allow these two to cool down along with the dals as you can see it's now done if you can just take one of the curry leaves or the chili and crush it you will be able to see that it's completely crisp Switch off the flame and uh, transfer the dals and uh, desiccated coconut into the pan and allow it to stand on it for 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, that's when it cools down completely, and then you can transfer it into the blending jar for uh, powdering it. Meanwhile, you can also add a little tamarind to this hot mixture so that the tamarind is, uh, if there is any moisture in it, it gets uh, removed. I'm just adding in a small piece here. That would be sufficient. next you will need to transfer this into the blending jar once it's completely cooled ensure that the jar is also completely dry there is no moisture in it transfer the content into the blending jar next uh, i am adding a bit of jaggery uh, so that it balances out the spice levels also salt and asafoetida to this uh, before i blend it we are looking for a bread crumb texture no need of fine powder and th- then your delicious chutney powder is ready store it in a air tight container the shelf life is around 4 to 5 weeks and this is definitely a killer change in your breakfast menu you can top it on hot idlis dosas and just a gallop of butter or ghee your breakfast is going to be very yummy and delicious try this chutney powder and let me know how it turned out thanks for watching please do like share and subscribe to my channel press on the bell icon for future notifications of such healthy recipes thanks for watching